Um, she's on right on schedule. We could use more sheep. Three does not have to be the number. However, that's just what we, you know, decided to use generally. So to it's interesting that he's not setting the dog up. Now he's setting the dog up. Recycle the sheep after on the side, which is the well done. The good settled dog. Then. And you'll notice we don't really use hand signals or anything. It's all whistles or voices. I think he uh, shouldn't be leaning into the dog and giving the command. It puts too much pressure, which is what started it. Many of the person overseas will actually step away from the dog. Now she's going a little little deep, but he, she's listening to the whistle. It didn't need to give the whistle. As you can see the dog, even that deep, has affected the sheep. Coming nicely nice lift, to the fetch nice panel. fetch. She's the dog well knows up. where to go. <laughs> Slow on the flank here. She's got a bobble, she's lost him a point there. But this dog is just so good that it knows where to be. All right, we're going to go for, you know, a run is always the, the, uh, the atmosphere Should be of the using run a stick is always here, started at the lift, where they meet the sheep Rather for the first body. time. The sheep have to go around him now. This dog is treated these sheep nicely. They should be around. what's happened. Return the favor. But they so are living beings and they can have bad days Speak to here. somebody about how to circle around the post. These sheep will come to you, which is different yeah, to most sheep. Said, working in the sun is a bad day. I but would you agree. still need to be away from the post to stop them breaking, because that will have cost them probably three they points. They need to have nice two grazing three. lives and do a little bit of this. It's not so bad. Late on the flank to the right. She's Just got it in time. We're walking on very nicely. The way You'll notice late we again. all get quiet when a run goes nicely because we kind of hope So he just needs to watch, a, watch the sheep a little very bit more. He's probably done. watching the dog rather than the sheep. Now we don't want them to come back through the panels. And now that was That's the handler off. again. He should have but, had the dog walk you know, up to push him away. Sheep didn't read the manual, so we take what we get. He's got a fantastic dog here. It's just uh, it's a question of working on the timing a bit. A little bit quicker to get the dog into position. Now the, get sheep the sheep to go the right way. sometimes go in the shoe very this quickly. This dog will do anything he well, wants. Sometimes they won't. That's why the Border Collie is so intelligent. They have to make flying decisions on their own as well as listen to you all at the same time. And you can't touch them. I know it's very tempting to just kind of pull one in. You can stomp or whistle or blow at them, but you cannot touch them. So he needs to, that's why he needs to stick, is to, is to give a bigger... Um, yeah, you see, he's, he's letting the sheep go there himself. It's his job to hold the end there. He's not doing it. He's asking the dog to do too much. Again, he's not watching the sheep. He's watching the dog. Now, what makes it difficult, it's not like a Y shape where it flares out on the side. He needs to step away from the mouth a bit, I think. This is a difficult one to do. And, uh, but again, penning and... Well, one went in. Now he's going to stop get the dog to come Two out this way. In. Okay. So this that's way, that one slipped out. All right, very good. That's a completed run by Wally and Lisa. Good job. Yeah, now he's got a fantastic dog there, and, um, and he's really come on leaps and bounds. It's, it's all about time. Just a little bit, a little bit quicker on. Um, okay.